Okay. Uh, thank you, Vera, and uh, thank you all for joining us, uh, for, for joining uh, the workshop. Um, today, I will talk about um, um, proximal subgradient algorithms for non convex and non smooth uh, fractional programming. This, by, this based on uh, joint work with uh, Radu both from University of uh, Vienna and uh, uh, Nguyen Lee from uh, UNRW. So I have uh, divided my talk into uh, uh, four parts. After, after an introduction about um, uh, fractional programming, uh, I will uh, present our extrapolated uh, proximal subgradient algorithm. And then um, I will provide um, a unified analysis framework of uh, uh, the tests and methods. Uh, the final part, we, um, we deal with uh, a uh, numerical example. So now we will uh, start with um, some uh, motivating example for fractional programming. First, um, the, um, the sparse signal recovery problem is to find um, a sparse a signal of um, uh, undetermined uh, system of linear measurements. Um, Mathematically, uh, it can be uh, formulated as minimizing um, the, the um, L, L0 norm of X. Here, L0 norm means uh, the sum of uh, non-zero entry of X. Uh, so we, we, mean, we want to minimize uh, the, the L0 norm of X uh, uh, subject to uh, to do some um, some constraint, for example, for a, a system of uh, linear equation, a x equal to b here, uh, a um, is uh, the sensing matrix and b is uh, the measurement vector. Uh, but unfortunately, um, the L zero norm actually is not uh, really the norm. It's a um, uh, Pseudo norm. So L0 is uh, discontinuous and non convex, uh, making, um, making it um, difficult uh, to, to, to solve the, the, the uh, spire signal recovery problem. Um, so normally we, we want to find, we will find um, a continuous uh, surrogate. For, for, for L0. And uh, a popular um, surrogate is the uh, L1 norm. Uh, it can be seen in, in the Lasso model, for example. Uh, recently, uh, in the paper of um, Rahimi, Wang, Dong, and Lu, um, the author uh, replaced the L0 by uh, the ratio of uh, L1 and L2 um, leading um, this problem. Um, and it can be <coughs> uh, in, in, in the paper of Rahimi, Wang, Dong, and Lu, uh, they show that uh, this model is outperformed the celebrate uh, lasso model. And there is, but um, uh, there is no uh, conversion proof, and um, and and uh, also um, there are high uh, oscillation uh, in uh, objective uh, trajectory, um, and uh, even in, in the paper, um, uh, the, the the author observed that it it may be hard to. Uh, to to uh, to prove the the, the conversion and uh, they actually use ADMM and 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 uh, and because of uh, highly uh, 
uh, oscillar, uh, oscillar, uh, oscillator, highly oscillation. Um, the author said that is um, the ADMM might, might not always uh, converse. Uh, so, so we we can see that the problem is in in the form of um, fractional programming, right? Um, also, we we have another uh, example. Uh, in uh, in finance, the standard sharp uh, ratio optimization problem is to uh, to maximize the ratio uh, between the expected return and and the risk. Um, now, suppose that uh, the, the parameter here, A, R, and the matrix A here are derived from uh, the, the, the commonly used uh, uncertainty sets uh, like this. Uh, then the robust uh, sharp ratio optimization problem can, um, uh, can be uh, written like, like this. So, uh, and in, in this case, uh, uh, we have max, uh, we have maximization problem, but of course we, we, can, we can write it as the minimization problem, right? And, uh, and, and in this case, we, we can see that the, 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 the numerator will be, um, uh, will be uh, both the numerator and, uh, and denominator are not uh, smooth, are not smooth. Uh, the third example is um, really uh, Coulson optimization with um, spherical uh, constraints. The problem is the minimize uh, bit ratio uh, subject to uh, um, a spherical constraint. Uh, here A and B are symmetric uh, positive definite matrix. Um, the problem can be uh, reformulated as uh, as this problem. So we we with that uh, with that bring the, the the constraint to the to the, um, the numerator, and uh, here the uh, C is the the, uh, the unit pair, and um, and um, the indicator function of C is the uh, it is by like this. Yes, we all know about the indicator function of a set, right? Um, so now we will uh, focus on the the the, the functional um, programming of minimize of minimizing uh, the ratio of uh, fx and gx. Uh, here. Um, F and G are proper lower semi-continuous functions, and uh, the set, uh, the, the, the constraint set S here is the uh, closed convex. Um, we will call the problem as a uh, problem uh, P. Uh, for the problem P, uh, we will say um, X bar uh, is a um, Stationary point of, uh, of P. Uh, if uh, X bar is a risk zero of the sub uh, of limiting subdifferential of uh, uh, F over G plus the indicator function of F of S, and uh, we call X bar um, is a lifted stationary point if uh, if this um, inclusion hold. Uh, and under some uh, some some uh, some assumption, uh, we can see that um, if x bar is a is a stationary point, then then it is also a lifted uh, stationary point. And we will uh, say uh, x bar is a strong lifted stationary point if this stronger inclusion holds. And uh, and we we can see immediately that uh, if if x bar is a lifted stationary point, then it also a strong lifted stationary point. But the the, the, the converse is not true. And uh, 
And here we will work with the, the, the limiting uh, subject tensor. Um, um, uh, and here is the, the, um, the recall of um, the def definition of limiting subject tensor uh, via um, uh, the, the Fetcher subject tensor. Um, now we recall some uh, some popular existing uh, methods for fractional programming. Um, the 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 Dean the Dean the Dean Kobach, the Dean Kobach uh, type methods are classical and also popular to solve uh, fractional programming. Uh, for for these methods in in each iterations and uh, we find an optimal solution x n plus one of the sub of this sub problem. Uh, so it means that we uh, we bring the the, the, the denominator to um, uh, to to the the numerator right. So. And 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 but we we have some 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 um, some parameter here parameter uh, theta n uh, is updated by uh, uh, theta n plus one equal f of x n plus one uh, over g x n plus one. Um, these methods mainly deal with uh, the case uh, where f and g uh, are smooth. Um, F is convex and uh, G is concave, and uh, and and uh, we can see that uh, unfortunately, uh, solving uh, such problem uh, P N uh, is uh, typically as expensive and difficult as solving the original problem itself. Um, recently, in uh, in 2000 um, and uh, 2017, uh, Radu and uh, Robert um, Chetnik, Robert Chetnik, um, solved uh, the subproblem uh, PN here. This subproblem uh, by um, by some uh, proximal gradient methods. Um, however, they um, they require that F is uh, F is a convex function and G is a smooth function, uh, which is uh, either concave or convex. So normally uh, for, for, the, for the classical Dinkerbeck type method, uh, normally they, they, they require both F and G are, um, are, are smooth and F is concave and G is, uh, F is convex and G is concave. <laughs> Uh, making this problem is uh, this sub problem uh, is convex, right? Yeah. Uh, but now we will uh, go further. So um, we can uh, come to the next section uh, about um, extrapolated proximal uh, sub gradient algorithm. And uh, we will assume throughout that uh, F can be. Uh, can be written as the sum of uh, fs and fn. So ff here is mean uh, smooth, and fn is non-smooth. Um, spe specifically, ff is a um, continuously differentiable convex function uh, with the with the Lipschitz sub uh, Lipschitz gradient, and uh, fn is just uh, um, proper lower semi-continuous function. We also assume that um, uh, f x is uh, non non negative uh, over s over the the, 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 the constraint set uh, for for the for the denominator g. We assume that g is uh, uh, finite and uh, positive on on the the, the constraint set s, and also locally lives it. Um, on an open set uh, containing S, and uh, and G is either beta weakly convex uh, on an open set, uh, open convex set containing S, or regular and uh, beta weakly convex uh, on S. 
So here we recall that a function H is a beta weakly convex on, on, on a set S if beta is positive and the sum of uh, H um, and the indicator function of S and um, and 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 um, and um, the the, the, the norm square is convex on 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 the whole space. Uh, a function at a, a function h is uh, regular on on s if uh, if for every uh, x in in s the the Frege sub tensor and limiting sub tensor of H are the same. Uh, and we also uh, note that um, the 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 weakly convex uh, the weakly convex uh, function uh, uh, form a um, a brass class of functions. Uh, we cover um, quadratic functions, convex functions, and um, continuously differentiable functions whose gradient is Lipschitz continuous. And also um, regarding the, the, the regularity, uh, if H is, is convex or continuously uh, differentiable on an open set containing S, then it's uh, also um, regular on S. So now we uh, we back to uh, to, to the, 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 the sub problem in in the 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 Dean curve the back uh, type of methods. So in in the sub problem, the the main step we. Uh, uh, we, we want to um, to solve the um, the optimal solution of, of this problem. So mean of uh, fx minus uh, theta n gx. Uh, because we we uh, uh, we assume that fx um, can can be written as uh, fn plus uh, fs like this, then uh, we we can uh, write like. Like this, and now, now we uh, now we will uh, replace the uh, x n by uh, by by some uh, some up, up uh, some of uh, its uh, approximations u uh, n or or v n, uh, which we will um, choose later. Uh, then we um, replace the the the, fun, the 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 smooth part of, of f, the smooth part of f is f s uh, by uh, um, uh, major major uh, relations. This this term um by the the the, the descent lem lemma we we can uh, we can prove that uh fs of x is always um less than or equal to 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 this term and so we we can uh, replace fs by by this term also we will uh, approximate gx by uh this term uh, where uh, in, uh, we can we choose uh, any uh, g n uh, in in the the limiting sub of uh, of, of um, uh, g at x n because we we, we don't assume that um, uh, g is uh, smooth so no uh, in in general g is non smooth uh, and uh, And we, we also as a proximal term uh, of um, x minus v n square, where uh, uh, tau n here is a, a parameter, and of course t n is positive. Uh, 
so with all of the of, of this approximation, we will uh, convert this uh, this sub problem in uh, decoupage type uh, methods by this step. Yeah, the blue one. And actually, uh, by some uh, some some. Uh, uh, some expression we uh, we can see that the the the, the blue one here is actually the the, the proximal uh, operator of um, uh, of f n the the non smooth part the non smooth part of s plus the indicator function at some uh, at some point here. Now, uh, because it, it, it is quite uh, uh, long and uh, indic uh, and complicated, so we first simply choose uh, UN and VN. Uh, that I, I said that uh, UN and, and, and UN uh, approximation of XN. So, but now we, we that simply choose UN and, and, and UN equal uh, XN. Then we will uh, end up with the uh, proximal subgradient algorithm. So in, in the main step, uh, we will uh, we will let uh, theta n equal uh, fn fxn over gxn and uh, takes any um, g uh, and any uh, subgradient of um, uh, g at xn and choose the parameter tau like this. And, um, and and uh, and and we uh, we have xn is uh, the the um, the same as before, but now we replace un un here 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 we replace un by xn here un as well, and vn we replace by uh, xn as well. So we we will. Obtain this one. Yes. But this one is not yet uh, extrapolation. Uh, now, uh, if we assume that the, 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 the function g, the, the um, uh, denominator, satisfies the bar. Uh, the bounded net uh, condition. It means that uh, there exist uh, M and capital M positive such that uh, uh, M less than or equal to uh, GX less than or equal to uh, capital M uh, for all X uh, in, uh, in, in S intersect with uh, the domain of F. Uh, so, Given this uh, bounded uh, bounded net condition, uh, we will fix. Uh, oh, sorry, some typo here. Uh, we will fix um, uh, kappa bar and and mu bar positive in 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 uh, some uh, suitable interval, uh, and uh, choose kappa n and uh, mu n like this, and then we will have uh, the, the the extrapolation. Uh, U n and V n of, of x uh, and x n minus one like this. Uh, in this case, the 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 the, the main the main step in uh, in in the algorithm here we uh, can be replaced by this. So we uh, uh, we we actually we 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 that restore. X n uh, here by U n and, and X n here by V n, and and we uh, we we obtain uh, an extrapolated uh, proximal subgradient uh, algorithm uh, we call EPSC for short. Uh, Ming, Ming, sorry, you have yeah. like a couple of minutes left. Okay. Uh, so. Uh, um, 
we we can uh, prove the, the the conversion for the uh, the subsequence. Uh, first, we uh, uh, we we have this uh, important um, inequality for um, for for f uh, over v g, and uh, we uh, we have that uh, for for every cluster point of x n. Um, uh, for for every cluster point x bar of, of the six sequence uh, x n uh, x bar is a, a lifted uh, stationary point, but not so about the stationary point. But if we add some uh, some other um, uh, assumption like this, uh, we we know that for for uh, all of our motivating example satisfy all the assumption. A1, A2, and A3 here. And uh, if we have this one, then uh, then uh, every cluster point of the, the, the sequence Xn is a, a stationary point. Uh, now we uh, go to the uh, um, unified uh, analyzed, uh, analysis framework uh, for, for decent uh, methods. Um, we will need uh, the, the, the notion of Kulika, Lozacevic property, and uh, uh, some standard uh, some, some standard assumption in, uh, as in the literature. And we will have um, the, the, the global conversion for, for, for the sequence. But the, we know that the, the, uh, our framework is um, um, is an extension of uh, many, uh, many, many existing uh, results in the literature. And with, the, uh, with this abstract conversion uh, theorem, we will uh, get the global conversion and, and linear conversion for, for, our, um, uh, for our methods. Uh, with, and under the, 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 the assumption that the, the, this function satisfy uh, um, KL property. Yes, and we also uh, have some um, uh, numerical example um, with uh, the K of uh, spa signal recovery problem, as I, I said before, and we compare with the ADMM, and it seems that uh, our uh, algorithm is uh, competitive. Uh, here is, I leave some key reference please. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you very much, Ming. So I apologize again that we're a little bit tight on time today because of the changes in the program. Yeah. So I would like to encourage everybody to ask me questions in chat or on Slack. Um, we'll have to move on to the next speaker. And Ming, because I think because you went a bit fast through some of your slides towards the end, maybe you could post your slides in Slack so we could also read more carefully. Yes, sure.